Good morning, I'm Jim Atkins, and I'll be your guide today for the official ceremony for wreaths across America. Thank you for being here today to honor our veterans. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a moment of silence to remember the fallen, prisoners of war, those missing in action, and to honor those who have served or are serving today in this great nation's armed forces. joining us here today. Right now across the country at more than 1,200 memorial sites like this one, we are gathered as a nation to remember, honor, and teach. We are all proud to be Americans that live in a free society made up of many people from many walks of life. The freedoms we enjoy today have not come without a price. Lying here before us and in cemeteries throughout this nation, are men and women who gave their lives so that we can live in freedom and without fear. We can worship as we see fit. We can raise our children to believe as we do. We can travel from one end of this great country to the other without seeking anyone's permission. We are for free to vote for whomever we feel should be in government with no explanation needed. We have the right to succeed and we have the right to fail at whatever endeavor we wish to pursue. The United States of America was founded on the ideals of freedom, justice, and equality. Our nation stands as a shining beacon of liberty and freedom to the world. We thank those who gave their lives to keep us free, and we shall not forget them. We shall remember always. Today, many of you here are veterans of wars and conflicts that America had to fight to protect the innocent and the oppressed. This nation has always been the first to stand up for freedom of the people around the world. Many of you here have answered that call and served your country well. We are here today to say thank you. There are many men and women serving today in all branches of the military, here at home, and in places far off that many of us never heard the name. These men and women are part of the best trained, best equipped force in the world. We honor them and their families for the sacrifices they make each and every day to keep our country safe from terrorism, hatred, and injustice. Today we show a unified front of gratitude and respect across the United States as we remember the fallen, honor those who serve, and teach our children the value of freedom. We encourage every volunteer here today who places a wreath at a veteran's grave to say that veteran's name out loud and take a moment to thank them for their service to our country. It is a small act that goes a long way toward keeping the memory of our veterans alive. Remember that we are not here today to decorate graves. We are here to remember not their deaths, but their lives. Each wreath is a gift of appreciation from a grateful America. These live balsam wreaths symbolize our honor to those who have served and are serving in the armed forces of our great nation, and to the families who endure sacrifices every day on our behalf. To our children, we want you to understand the freedoms you enjoy today have not been free, but have come with a cost. Remember that thanks to our veterans, we have our freedom. 